Welcome back to Wealthy Mentor Trading, guys. Today is July the 4th, 2022, and today I'm going to be discussing three stocks that I'm ready to short going into the week. As you guys know, today is Independence Day, so happy Independence Day to everyone out there. And we usually have our Sunday streams, but today I am coming on a Monday to give you guys the lowdown. So before we get started, guys, please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to the channel click that subscribe button as we do release videos every week as i did mention i do have three stocks that are on my list going into this week and i'm short on all of them right i am looking at nvidia which did decline 16 percent last week it did drag down the semiconductor sector i'm also going to be looking at jpm jp morgan is at critical resist critical support i should say and i'm watching for a bear break along with AMD also dragging down the semiconductor sector, down 16% on the week. I am going to be discussing some targets on that. But as you guys can see here, we do have the S&P 500 chart, and I do like to start with the market analysis first. And what I was looking at for a bull move, obviously we did have a nice week prior, and we were looking for that break above 3,900. And unfortunately, we did not get that, right? We got another rejection right here at 39.30 and we dropped down all the way to pretty much 37.50 which we did receive a bounce right i was bearish on the markets as i did mention last week i wanted to see a close below 3800 but luckily on friday the market did push above that and close above 3800 so right now we are seeing some sort of consolidation here between 39.30 and all the way to 37.50 and until I see a bear break below 3,800 and a close below there on the weekly time frame, I am continuing to be neutral right now, guys. So for me going into this week, again, I am watching that 3,800 line for my targets on the three names that I just mentioned to take place, right? So below 3,800, I am, again, looking at that 37. 25 line as my first take profit target if you are short at 3800 and i'm also looking at that bounce area from a few weeks ago 3650 right so that is the major key one right there guys so a break below 3800 those are my two targets now if you do want to be a safer trader and don't want to get chopped up into this little zone right here look for that break of 3650 right now that is a strong line of support, as you guys can see from prior history and prior weeks. Back on 2020, it did hold on multiple weeks right here. Bull stepped in and we we're off to the races. So we could pretty much do the same thing in 2022. But right now, the sentiment does not look too well. And it looks like we could drop even below that, right? We're looking at levels of 3,400, retesting that COVID drop and bounce right now. We are bearish, and my main focus is that $3,800 line. So watch that if you are a bear going into next week. Now, to the bull side, let's just say we continue to hold 3800 Where do I see us going? So pretty much same thing, guys. 3930 is that top of the line. We got to get past that to retest pretty much 3985 which is the next big line for me. And that psychological $4,000 line, which is the major key if you are a bull into this market. But right now, we are consolidating between 39.30 and 37.50, and that is a no trade zone for me. A break below 3,800 down to 37.50 and 36.50, you can definitely see some bear action and the opportunities with the three stocks that I did mention uh, going into this week. With that being said, guys, I am going to jump into the three names and the first one being NVIDIA, right? Here we are on NVIDIA on the weekly time frame. And to me, it is significant, right? NVIDIA pretty much has been on a downtrend, just like all the other names. And it's significant because we did break key trend right here. As you guys can see on the weekly time frame, we were holding this 150 to 153 line for pretty much since may and just before june closed out we closed below that line and for me that is bearish right that is a key trend line right so we broke trend and we also broke this consolidation area that we've been in for since may as i mentioned so i'm looking for a continuation pattern downwards you know an elevator down 
down to retest that 134, which is my first take profit target, guys, and my second take profit target of 125.5, which coincides with this consolidation area that we had back on 2020 all the way to 2021, where we saw a nice breakout, right? So here we are at that area again, and we could pretty much stay in this zone for quite a while. But first things first, as a trader myself, I'm looking to buy puts all the way down to retest that 134 and 125 area. Now, if we do see continued weakness, we can pretty much test that 115.50 area. As you guys can see here, bulls did step in. And for me, I am looking for a bounce around that area, right? That is pretty much a major retracement. And if you kind of look at all the names right now, they are at, at that COVID level. So you can kind of gauge to see if the market will bounce and give you the indication that there is a reversal happening slowly, right? So the first thing for me that was important when I looked at the S&P 500 is that we did close above 3,800. And to me, that left a clue, left a glimmer of hope that we are consolidating around that area for potential move higher, right? So this week's important. If we get down below 3,800 and have a close below there, we can pretty much test lower levels. And you can see names like NVIDIA definitely test 134, 125 and a half, and 115 and a half. So those are my three targets going into next week and in the month of July as well. All right. Next name that I am bearish on, and I'm also looking to open up shorts, and that's JP Morgan. JPM not doing so well, right, guys? As you guys can see from the chart here, had a high of $173. And now we are pretty much down to retest the COVID area of pretty much November 2020, right? We did have a nice gap up and we we're off to the races creating all-time highs. We have retraced the move pretty much 100% and we are at critical support 111, right? We've had three weeks here where pretty much the bears could not break below 111 bull stepped in guarding this line it is a new month and i am looking for that bear break underneath that 111 support line right guys so underneath 111 we do have a nice little gap right here down to 10450 which is an area where options traders are also targeting puts right so i'm definitely looking on the break of 111 along with convincing volume and market conditions dropping us below 3,800 for us to retest these areas of 10450, filling this gap. Now, like NVIDIA, we have nice consolidation here between 104 and 95. So 95 is that bottom area of that consolidation zone. So that is my second take profit going into the week ahead and into the month of July. So definitely look for JP Morgan bearish break below 111 to hit those targets of 104, 50, and 95. Now, to negate this bear break, we got to definitely see a bounce above the consolidation area of 119, which is this three-week span right here where we couldn't break 119, right? So 119 is an area for you to look at and say, you know what, we're not going to get that bear break just now. And it could be an opportunity for you to close your position if you are short prematurely. All right, guys, so definitely watch JP Morgan and watch the whole financial sector, right? Watch XLF to see what they're doing, to see what the financial institutes are doing. And right now, it doesn't look very good, right? We are bearish. And for me, as I mentioned, I'm looking for that bear break of 111. All right, next name that also had a terrible week along with the semiconductor sector completely dragging it down, and that's AMD. And AMD is important to me, guys, right? Before, a few weeks ago, I was looking at that 85.50 line. And you know what? We have now dropped below that, closing the June session, I should say, at that 72.50 line, pretty much now testing this consolidation area back from 2020 all the way to 2021. This chart looks identical to the NVIDIA chart, guys. So you can definitely look at semi SMH the semiconductor sector to gauge to see if we are going to break the 7250 line, right? So for me, a few scenarios can happen here. Scenario number one, the bear break scenario would be a break below 7250. 
killing this consolidation area of two years down to 60 bucks, where pretty much we get to test this next consolidation area where we had in early 2020, right? That is the worst case scenario. So I am looking for a bear break underneath 7250. Now, to the upside, what do you want to see? Obviously, you want to see a hold of 7250 and you want to see the bulls step in just like how they stepped in multiple times in two years, right? So 7250 could be an area where you could potentially buy at and we could see a push to test the bottom of these two candles right here on the weekly around 80 to 85.50, which to me, we could definitely see a nice percentage gain out of that on the balance of 72.50. However, I do not see a continued move above those levels, right? So we could pretty much test 72.50, get a bounce, test the bottom of these candles right here at 80 to $85, and then trickle down to 7250 testing it one more time and obviously as you guys know the more times you test key support the weaker that it gets bulls completely give up control and bears are off to the races dragging this thing down to 60 bucks will that happen this week probably not we'll most likely consolidate around this area until we get a bear break on the s p 500 and then you're going to see amd trickle down below 7250 so Definitely keep these two scenarios in mind, guys. If the S&P 500 drops below 3,800 and has a close, you can be assured that AMD and the semiconductor sector are going to follow. Now, if the S&P 500 gets below, sorry, above 3,900, we can pretty much guarantee that we're going to be testing that $85 line, testing this consolidation top, right? So definitely watch the S&P 500 to give yourself some clues. Now, this is not on the list, but if I was to look at the semiconductor sector, SMH, what am I looking at, right? Automatically, I know that last week we broke key support at 201, which is terrible. What am I looking at to see if AMD and, and NVIDIA are going to follow through? It's very simple, guys. You want to see a continued move on the SMH semiconductor sector all the way down to pretty much test another low, which, judging by this chart, is the bottom of this candle right here on the weekly time frame so you can see a, a move down to that 189 area and another key area would be that 174 the bottom of this matrix candlestick right here back on 2020 so guys if i'm looking for a continued move on the smh sector look for nvidia and look for amd to follow through right so these areas where we could potentially see a bounce on the semiconductor sector is that 189 and 174 area. So that was an extra 10 bit guys, just to give you guys, keep you guys aware of what the overall picture is, right? A lot of times I get asked about singular names, but during a market downtrend, you definitely gotta look at the semiconductor sector. You gotta look at the tech sector. You gotta look at the financial sector to see if what's happening in the bigger picture, right? During a downtrend, you gotta look at the major index. Definitely follow the major index, and that one is SMH. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining in today. I know it was a short one. We do have a short week, so definitely keep your eyes on AMD, JP Morgan, and NVIDIA. And if you are interested in trading with us at Wealthy Mentor Trading, we do have that $97 two-month summer promo right now. The link is in the description. All the names being discussed today are part of the group. You have swing trading, day trading, options trading continued lists throughout the week being updated along with market preparation guys definitely don't miss out on this opportunity the link is in description thank you guys for joining today and good luck trading